What's up guys? So I've been struggling a little bit lately trying to come up with ideas for new videos that are different and interesting and that aren't just another smartphone video or app video. And uh, what I found is that maybe the best place to discover new and exciting tech items that are available to consumers is Kickstarter. So I wanted to sit down and make a whole video just about my top five tech Kickstarters that are available right now. So coming in at number five is the Aora 3D, which I'm almost definitely mispronouncing. So the Aora 3D is a high precision 3D scanning device that uses your smartphone to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Now you might be asking, Ted, why do I need a high precision 3D scanning device? And you might not, but um, the reason this is exciting is because one of the, the biggest improvements we've had in terms of tech in the last five years has been with 3D printers. 3D printers used to be really expensive and not that great. And today you can, you can buy a, a fairly high quality 3D printer for somewhere in the $500 range. And five years from now, it's gonna be just like any other printer or so some claim. However, 3D scanners have not seen the same amount of improvement. 3D scanners are either not very accurate or they're very, very expensive. So what Aora is trying to do here is make 3D scanners as inexpensive and as accurate as 3D printers are today by using the technology that we now have in smartphones to do a lot of the heavy lifting, it's kind of brilliant. It now might see, seem excessive to have the ability to scan and print items unless you're a manufacturer of some sort. And I thought this as well at first, but if you sit back and just kind of let yourself imagine the possibilities of having this kind of technology at your fingertips, it becomes pretty clear how useful it could be. One thing I'd love to do if I had one of these is scan the, the connector on my GoPro mount and use that to create all sorts of different kinds of mounts for it because I, I can never find quite the right one, quite what I want, what I need. If you're just able to sit there and say, look, I've got this problem. I need something to fix it. Let's make it. That, that to me is incredibly empowering. Uh, it's something that, that can, can be specific to whatever your goals are. For me, seeing something like this makes my imagination go wild. As of this moment, it's made 481,000 of its $80,000 goal. So it's done, this is a done deal, this is happening. Coming in at number four is a project by the Ravian team. They are attempting to make the world's first heated down jacket with six time mobile charging capabilities. Now with, with stuff like this, there are companies who have tried to do this in the past. There are companies that make heated clothing. What they're saying is gonna be different about them is the charge time. They're saying that they have a much longer charge time than their competitors. And if it's true, then that's a big deal. They're also integrating mobile charging into their jackets so that you can charge your phone on the go. That solves a big problem for me. That is something that I hate doing. I hate carrying around extra chargers with me if I know I'm gonna be, be in some place for a while using a ton of power. The Down Jacket project has made $459,000 of its $100,000 goal, so they've passed their, their goal and then some. Coming in number three is the Biopod. This is something that really caught my eye and piqued my interest. It's the world's first smart microhabitat. Now what this is, is basically what it suggests in the title. It's a glass box that has an entire habitat in it, complete with water if you want it, um, animals if you want it. You can put frogs or fish or other kinds of animals in, the, in there, as well as a, as a whole array of, um, of plant life that you put into this box that sits on your desk. And my favorite part is that it's a set it and forget it system. It basically does everything for you. And the way it accomplishes that is that you tell it what's inside it when you're setting up the, the biopod and it has a number of sensors inside the machine that tell it stuff like the current temperature, the humidity level, um, all of the things, the information it needs to know 
uh, to keep the system alive and intact. And it uses that information to mist the plants when they need water, to control the filtration systems, the amount of light. It has a UV lamp built in. It has an HD video camera in there. And look, I'm always trying to get more green in my life. I'm always trying to get new plants in here, but the idea of the maintenance part of it, of potentially killing something <laughs> that uh, I'm responsible for taking care of, it makes me not want to do it. And, and the fact is having plants around you has a ton of benefits. It reduces stress. It takes carbon dioxide out of the air and puts um, oxygen into the air. It's just an all around good thing. Everyone should have some plant life in their living space. This is a great way to do it. Um, you could even have a little habitat with fish or frogs in there and have a very, very, very low level of maintenance. It just makes this super, super attractive in my eyes. This Kickstarter had a goal of only $22,000 and it's surpassed that by a wide margin. It's made over $257,000 already with many, many of the options flat out selling out. So if you want to get in on this, I would um, I'd do it quickly. Now coming in at number two is another plant-based tech Kickstarter, which I love. It is the Plug and Plant Smart Vertical Garden. If you don't know what a vertical garden is, basically what it is is plants that grow along your wall. Um, I've seen a few different uh, models of this. Most of them are just kind of like bowls that sit on your wall. But other than that, they're just uh, just pots, basically. They're, they're plants in every other way. You still have to take care of them. You still have to do all the heavy lifting. Now with the plug and plant, it has some automation features, not quite as many as the biopod, which we just saw, but it does have a tank that you can fill with water and uh, smart sensors on the, uh, the pods where it will automatically refill those, uh, those pods with water. It doesn't, it doesn't have all of the same features of the biopod with the like UV lights and stuff and misting and stuff like that, but it sounds like it will get the job done. Another thing I like about it is that it comes in 36 designs and the pods you get actually have the seeds already in them. All you have to do is, is plug and plant. It's, it's in the name. The system will actually even intelligently take care of the plant. Um, based on what kind of plant it is. The other cool thing is that most of the plants that come in these pods are actually uh, food-based plants like tomatoes and arugula and, and things that you can actually cook and eat. So this is a solution, I think, for people who want a home garden but don't really want to do much work. However, this, unlike the other Kickstarter so far, has not yet reached its goal. It's at 38,000 out of 50,000. Um, if you don't know how, to kick, how Kickstarter works, basically you, you pledge a certain amount, but you don't get charged until if and when the uh, project reaches its goal. So if this project doesn't hit 50,000, this thing probably isn't getting made. They're not going to get that money and nobody will get charged. So if this sounds interesting to you, I would go and check it out. It has 21 days to go. So if it makes its budget, which is another 12,000 in 21 days, then this thing will become a reality. So finally, my number one tech Kickstarter is something called the Phone Drone Ethos. You might have seen this on Shark Tank. They kickstarted this for a $100,000 goal and it's surpassed that it's 186 right now. Basically what it is, it's um, a drone that's about this big. It looks, looks to be about this big based on the photos and your smartphone goes into it and the drone actually uses a lot of the tech in your smartphone like the gyroscope, the camera for sure, to replace some of the expensive parts of uh, the drone to get the price down a little bit and to get the size down. It's a pretty cool concept. I want to get one for myself and test it out and see what it's like so I'm really happy that this Kickstarter has made its goal. Um, one of the things I was worried about is that if you put your phone into a drone and take off, what, how do you control it? Do you need a second smartphone to uh, control it? They answer that question on the Kickstarter page. You can control it with another smartphone, but you can also just pre-plan your route ahead of time and then send it off and have it come back to you. Another thing you can do is actually use this thing as a second device, as a controller. You can send your phone up in the air, and if you have an Apple Watch, uh, you can control the drone, you can see the camera footage from your Apple Watch. I think that's kind of brilliant, um, and I can't wait to try that out for myself.
So guys, those are my top five tech Kickstarters out right now. What do you think is the coolest one on this list? What do you want to get for yourself? Please let me know in the comments below. Is there something I haven't included that maybe you would put on this list? I'd love to hear that as well. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and I'll keep you up to date with all sorts of new fun stuff. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.